Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about how to decrypt the affine cipher when you do not know the key. I am going to assume that you know how to use the affine cipher under normal conditions, so how to encrypt and decrypt when you do know the key. Um, there are multiple different ways of decrypting. The two most common for this cipher are probably the brute force method, which is pretty much what it sounds like, trying every single possible um, combination of alpha and beta. There are 300 different possibilities, so it would take a long time to try them all by hand, but by a computer that's pretty quick. The other option that I'm going to talk about mostly in this video is the known plaintext attack. Now what we mean by known plaintext is that there's a very small segment of the plaintext that we have. Um, and we're also assuming that we have the ciphertext. So we have the ciphertext, um, the entire thing, and we have at least two letters of the plain text for purposes of this video. So what we have is the ciphertext, which starts with PQ and then keeps going on. Um, we, we assume we have the rest of it, but we only care about the PQ, the first two letters. Now we also have the beginning of the plain text, which starts with IF, and that's all we have of the plain text. Now, also recall that the formula for the affine cipher is y equals alpha x plus beta, where the y is the um, ciphertext, where it's the number that represents a letter from the ciphertext, and the x is the number that represents the plaintext letter. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the known and the unknown um, text, and we're going to make two equations out of it. I'm going to start with taking the first letter of the ciphertext and the first letter of the plain text, and I'm going to put it in here. So P is the 15th letter, assuming we're starting with A is 0, and I is the 8th letter. Okay, so we have the ciphertext, 15, which is our Y equals alpha times um, x, our plain text, which is 8, plus beta. Remember that what we need to know are alpha and beta. So, we have one equation from the first letter. We get this because we know i goes to p in this case. And that's how we got that, so we know that this is true. Now we also know that F right here goes to Q. F maps to Q. So we can do the same process where we say, okay, the Y, which is the cipher, Q is the 16th letter. So we say 16 equals alpha times the plain text. F is the fifth letter. So equals alpha times 5 plus beta. So now we have two um, we have two variables alpha and beta and we have two equations so therefore we can solve for alpha and beta. There are multiple ways to solve these um, but probably the easiest way is by subtraction. So if we subtract this equation from this one so we have beta minus beta so we don't have any beta anymore in zero. Uh, 8 alpha minus 5 alpha is 3 alpha and 15 minus 16 is negative 1, uh, which I'm going to write as 25 equals alpha 3. Just by modular arithmetic. That's mod 26 because we're using the English alphabet, which has 16 letters. Um, so I added 26 to my negative 1, and I got 25. Next, to solve it, we want to divide both sides by 3. So then we have alpha equals 25 over 3, which I'm going to rewrite because, you know, modular arithmetic and the affine cipher, we can't, um, we can't just divide and get a fraction or a decimal or something like that. We have to use 25 times the inverse of 3, which is the same thing. Now, in order to find out what the inverse of 3 is, and it is not 0.33, um, we have to use the Euclidean algorithm. If you don't know how to find the inverse of a number using the Euclidean algorithm, I have a link for that in the screen and in the description below. Um, but for now, I am going to assume you 
do that separately since that takes a while. And I'm going to tell you that it is 9. The inverse of 3 mod 26 is 9. I'll also put the work for how I got from the inverse of 3 equals 9 mod 26 in the description below in case you're wondering about that specifically. But for now, back to trying to find alpha. So alpha is, we multiply 25 times 9, and then that equals 17 mod 26. So we have now found that alpha equals 17, which is half of the key. Next, we need to find beta. In order to find beta, all we have to do is substitute the alpha that we got into either of the two equations we have. So I substituted our alpha into this equation right here. I just picked the top one. And then we can say that 15 minus 17 times 8 equals beta. Uh, if you do that math with modular arithmetic, we get that beta equals 9 mod 26. So now we have our key. We have both our beta here and we have our alpha. So we can take this and plug them in and we say we had y equals alpha times x plus beta. And this right here is the key. Now we can use this um, to solve for the rest of the ciphertext. Technically, if you want to write out the key, we write that the key is 17 comma 9, and that's just alpha comma beta. That's just the formal way we write out a key for the affine cipher. Thanks for watching. If you want to review on any of the other steps in this process, like um, how to encrypt or decrypt using a known key, um, the links are in the description below, as well as the link to learn how to find the inverse of a number um, with modular arithmetic using the Euclidean algorithm. All those links below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.